please press the subscribe button, tap on the bell icon and never miss an update from Passionate Geeks. Hey, what's happening as PGs here? Today I'm going to show you how you can get Android or your settings de design for your and any Android device running on a lollipop or a marshmallow. So if you look at the Android or your settings, so here you see that now they redesigned the settings and they renamed the settings and also they created sub some sub menus like if you see these are, these are the main menus and these are the sub settings. So here I created the two settings for our lollipop devices and the marshmallow. So one for dark mode and second for light mode. So if you see in, in my settings, I also do the same. I theme my lollipop settings to look like Android Oreo. You can also get this settings for your Android device. Just you have to flash the APKs. Links are in the description. Flash the zip file. But if you want to make it your own, let's find out how you can make it this. So here we are guys, first you need to decompile your lollipop settings.apk So I already decompiled my settings So in the settings folder you have to go to the resource Go to the xml and find the dashboard categories So it is the same as the creating a new menu for your dashboard category that I already created in, on my last videos If you check out my the theme settings playlist you will find how to do that So first here we need to create some xmls for our sub settings so first we need to go to the new and create a new xml let's uh, let's create a name like my name that is pars pars wireless so here i will collect all the wireless settings like wi-fi hotspot and others next i will create the menu for my bluetooth that way i will need named as part is connected so again go to the created so yeah, I already create here I already going to create a two menus so now copy all the first part of your dashboard categories and paste it on the every XML and replace dashboard categories with the preference screen why I'm using preference screen you can check out my settings dot theme settings playlist to get that I already created a proper video on on this topic. So once you created a, created the both menus, now you have to copy the dashboard code. Like if you first we let's collect the information what we want. We want a Wi-Fi. Uh, next, I want uh, in my wireless. Hmm. I think I sh like hotspot VPN in my wireless menu also a flight mode now I will collect all this information in my wireless menu and now I will create a connected like I will need I need a Bluetooth I need a, a tethering all type of tethering, USB tethering, Bluetooth tethering and all so you can create the multiple menus uh, according to your your menus or the features so once you collect all the information now you have to find these find the location of these XMLs so once you so for Wi-Fi you need to go to the dashboard categories and copy the first style that is Wi-Fi just copy it and paste it in your Wi-Fi just replace the dashboard tile with the preference screen next I need sim cards so I'm going to copy this and place here next I need a hotspot VPN I will do the same for the rest of So I now need a sim card So this is my sim card now I am going to use a VPN 
make sure you find the proper XML of the every function you want to add in your new menu. You can also add the direct switch switches. Just copy the switch preference and paste in your new menu. So this is my hotspot switches, tethering switches and the USB th switches. And now close every preference screen with the closed preference screen. Now we already closed all the preference screen you created. You can also remove the icons if you want, you can add the icons, you can remove the icons, whatever the thing you want. Okay, now the next part is we have to edit the smiley files. So here you go to the smiley files and create a new folder. I already created one, now I'm going to copy these smiley files. So I will name it as Paras Wireless and the Paras Connected. So I already created the two smiley files, you can also find these smiley files, links are in the description. Once you get this, you have to just replace these public IDs with your newly created XMLs. So, Now remove the dashboard categories that you don't want and properly remove the dashboard categories. It will take some time, it will create too many errors. You have to understand the error and remove it by your own because this is the very complicated part. You will get too many errors while doing this. So once you satisfied with your dashboard screen now go to the any option of your android fragments of the particular tile so like i'm going to create a, a wireless tile here so i in the wireless tile i'm going to add uh, android fragments so for the android fragment you have to go to the android fragment and remove the existing fragment from the wi-fi and the bluetooth so here just add a com.android.settings your newly created folder like i created a paras folder so here i can name paras.paras wireless so when i click on the wi-fi it will redirect me to the the wireless menu that i already created a new one so where I have all the functions like wireless, wireless function like my Wi-Fi hotspot all in the one menu. So again for the Bluetooth do it the same. So when you do it completely now recompile your APK and it will create too many errors make sure you remove all the errors because it was a complicated part. So once you remove all the errors. You will get the newly apk now decompile the newly created apk so when you decompile the newly created apk okay here i need to rename it so it will take some time depend upon your processor or the setting size okay right now decompile now go to your resource folder go to the values go to public and find the new newly created xmls in the public folder and open the smiley files as well in the next folder and edit with the notepad plus now you have to replace the ids that you newly created so once you find all the xml now replace it with your xml like this is my newly created xml now i'm going to replace it replace it with my created xml so for wireless i will use wireless menu for connected i will use the connected menu 
so once you all think done now try to recompile your settings it will create errors it will not it will create errors it will create some so if you get stuck at any part things are in the description go join my facebook group and ask me directly so this is it guys hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the subscribe button do like send do share thanks for watching guys stay tuned see you next week